I'm Michael Bucciolieri. I, uh, I run the training division for Loophole and Stevens. We stood it up about um, three years ago, the Loophole Optics Academy. So um, I was brought on to build the training division. and uh, We do a lot of optics seminars, a lot of optics instruction, and uh, we do a lot of firearms training as well. So a lot of long range precision training too. We're going to go over some differences between the law enforcement sniper position as well as the military sniper position. Your experience at the military side, give us some of the main points that uh, sniper is responsible for. So, <clears throat> sniper is responsible for a lot of things, everything from you know route reconnaissance, a lot of uh, information gathering, a lot of battlefield information gathering. I think that a lot of people out there think, well, I can shoot really good. I should have been a sniper, but you know, being a sniper is you know maybe three to five percent of your or shooting. I'm sorry, is, is maybe three to five percent of your job in the sniper community. There's a lot more collecting and gathering of battlefield information, a lot of Overwatch, a lot of route reconnaissance. Um, so that's a lot of it is entailed uh, by a lot of other other skill sets that you need other than just shooting. So, um, which is a, a big difference than the law enforcement sniper community because that's just an augmented job for you guys, correct? Absolutely. Okay. Same role, very similar roles with the uh, with the law enforcement side. Um, in my experience as being a sniper for a short time, Overwatch is huge for us, surveillance gathering and getting information back to the uh, CPs to get that information for those ground guys. Um, the, the shooting portion is a very small portion of what has to happen there. Uh, but getting out undetected in an urban environment and getting set up with the proper gear when, when it's needed is, uh, is crucial. And again, mm -hmm. it's, it's, a think, it's a thinker's game. 